Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm being attacked on my left hand by, oh, I was gonna call a snuggly bear, by Luri bear. I just finished a long shooting day. Oh my God, why didn't my makeup look like this when I was trying to film for the makeup? Right now it's looking really nice. It was not looking this nice at all when I was trying to make it look nice with my lights and whatnot. Watch, watch, what's really happening over here? Why are you attacking me? So I'm just back from my birthday trip to London. Oh my God, this girl has become so big just in one week. My father was taking care of her and I went with Shweta to London to celebrate my birthday and also my divorce. Oh my goodness, you guys. It's been four years, four years. If you thought getting a divorce is easy, oh my God, please. No. When I share my experience, a lot of people think I am, what's that, salty? It's not that. It literally takes an hour to get married. You know, you go to the church or temple or you just do your registry uh, here in India. I don't know about other countries. But getting divorced is close to impossible. You know, I took four years. I know people who have taken 10 years who have kids, 10 years. It's like if you started your divorce at 27, you're 37. If you started your divorce at 35, you're 45 by the time you're done with divorce. So be careful of who you marry, you guys. Anyways, I'm so glad I'm done with that. I'm all done with that. Whew, what do I say? A lot of people have a lot of questions. You know, I don't know how to answer them. Uh, by staying respectful to the people involved, I so I'm like not because it's not just my life, you know. It's uh, there are other people involved in here. Anyways, this video is about another haul. So if you haven't watched my Singapore beauty beauty haul, I will leave it somewhere over here. I have a shorts form of the Sephora haul, which may or may not be out already. I also have a long form uh, version of the Watsons haul, which is the drugstore haul. Now in UK, we went to Superdrug, and which is also like a Watsons, like a pharmacy drugstore store you know not high-end you know you get your NYX and makeup revolution you know Maybelline L'Oreal those kind of things there so I got a few things and I wanted to share it with you before I just shove it away in my collection the first things uh, I want to show are the two things that I got for my hair you know that I've been really really rocking the curly hair because for some reason I feel like I have really understood how to manage it. Earlier I knew how to style my curly hair but then I just tie it up into a ponytail and then it's like all haywire and I didn't know what to do on second day. You just need to wet it and give it another 30 minutes again and it goes back to so I learned that so I've been rocking my curly hair a lot more. Also I'm going through some really really bad hair fall. Uh, I hope it's not alopecia areta, I don't know. <laughs> I've been googling and uh, it's the results are you know they always take you to the worst all the time and uh, thing is in the last two three weeks the amount of hair I've lost it is visible on my scalp now like you know that is why I've tied up my hair it really makes me feel very very sad to leave my hair open anymore I consulted with a friend of mine who's a doctor but you know she's not a hair doctor, it's something with starting, starting with the T. She's a heart doctor, uh, she, uh, but she anyways told me that uh, increase your protein intake, increase your biotin, reduce your antidepressants, um, reduce your stress. I'm trying to do, I, I have done all of that. My hair loss is still severe, okay, severe. Um, Anyways, coming back to the products I bought, these are just curl creams because I should also stop using heat, which I did not use a lot of heat anyway, but a month ago I got really cocky with the amount of hair that I had grown, you know. Suddenly my hair had become really thick and really long. I, have, I was showing that off to you guys. Maybe I got Nazar Lagaya or whatever, I don't know. Uh, because I remember in those videos, you know, I had done a few videos for Tresemme and whatnot, and I'm like, see, these, this is all my hair this is all my hair and maybe I don't know I got another or I, I don't know 
I don't know if I believe it. I think I slightly do, but now it's all gone. Anyways, I've got from the brand Aussie. I've got the curl cream. That's what I've used on my hair today, but I have tied it up for a specific brand. They wanted me to have a bun, so it's just in, all in a bun right now. Also, I don't feel good about leaving my hair open, like I said. Uh, also got a Cantu curl mousse for children, I believe. Yeah, this is not for children, but Shweta was picking up one for uh, Nivi and uh, Gilda also uses one for Anya, the Cantu for kids. And I have noticed that I really, really love it when they use it on their children. <laughs> I'm like, I am going to use it on myself. Anyways, moving along. Oh, this is a gift that Shweta got for me and I got a similar one with a dog paw and a puppy for Shweta from Windermere. Uh, so this is sterling silver and I got two cats. It's in this beautiful little jar. What a cute little gift, right? So I was standing and you know wondering should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? Because I always think a thousand times when I'm getting something for myself and Shweta knows me like no other at this point. Uh, and she's like, you know what? I'm gonna get that for you and you can get this for me. I was like, oh, perfect, perfect, you know? And that doggy one was so perfect for her because Shweta is your dog person anyways i got the fat oil stick click from nyx this i've seen so much on instagram first they came out with the fat oil which like the thick lip oil and then they came out with the stick version this is really nice you guys at least in london it did not it did not feel sticky um yeah i really like it I can compare it with the e.l.f. version if you'd like. You know, e.l.f. also has the sticky one which Glamzilla, if you follow makeup drama here on YouTube, uh, she, she, it was really like, there was a lot of drama with respect to that e.l.f. one. Is it sticky? Is it not? Nya, 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 nya. All that. Anyway, so while I was, you know, going through the next counter, I saw this Pro Fixed Sticks and you know, I cannot, I cannot pass up a concealer okay for me concealer is my jam and uh, I really did not understand if this is a corrector stick because all the boards said that this is a corrector stick but they also had like these 18 20 shades of concealer so I think this is a correcting concealer the one two times I tried it guys I did not like it very much okay uh, but let me like give, give me some time to really play with it and figure it out I got it in the shade number 12 nutmeg and this is the perfect shade for my under eye but it literally as I try to blend it wipes off like nothing is left <laughs> anyways oh my goodness did I just buy everything from NYX um so the next one is NYX duck plump so apparently the ad on this is really really fun shweta got me to pick this up uh it is you know you've got a spicy spicy taste to it it's it, it literally kind of burns your lips okay and the colors are beautiful so it really does plump your lips and it has shine that you can see from another planet it is beautiful the shade that i got is 16 why not i like that i like that then oh my god i don't know i was in such a shoppy mood i stopped by eucerine because when i was in kuwait uh, i was on the pr list of brands like eucerine la roche vichy so I was up to date with what's new in the French skincare. Um, now I don't know anymore. So I just I was just spending some time looking at all the new releases, and uh, nothing really caught my eye as much as this one. This is the anti-pigment spot corrector. It came in a big box. Okay, the box was this big, and it was about sixteen pounds. And I picked it up. I reached home. I opened it up, and I was like, "What? <laughs> I paid sixteen pounds for this eyelash and glow looking thing." 16 pounds for references around 1700 rupees uh, this better erase all of my spots okay next up from the counter milani i got this um, blush dolce pink this is one of the ogs this is not a new release this is one you know, uh, a lot of people compare this to Nars Orgasm and because of their hype, when I was back in Kuwait, I have bought this. And back then it did not show up on my face. So I thought, why not? I'm just gonna give this a try again because I'm not getting anything, anything from my house in Kuwait. So I was like, okay, I have closure on that. I know I'm not getting anything, even my own belongings. Like, anyway, so I thought I'll pick up another one. But this time around, guys, this really shows up on my face. It's um, 
I've mixed a lot of blushes, but it's also on my face right now. And then from the bourgeois counter, I picked up this velvet pink matte liquid lipstick and uh, velvet ink. Uh, the shade is Sweet Darkling. Oh, darkling, like darling. I just miss bourgeois. I remember back in Kuwait, I used to always, always look at something from bourgeois. Uh, I don't know if it is a lack of marketing here in India. Actually, bourgeois is not available here in India, right? Maybe that's why I don't see a lot of bourgeois anymore. And I just missed it. So I just like randomly picked up this shade. I think it's very, very beautiful. Um, all of this you'll see in my reels and shorts, you know. And... Uh, I picked up a bunch of face razors because I forgot to pack face razors. Uh, you know, I, I like to shave my face. Nothing more to explain in that. You know what there is? Actually, I've realized that the face razors you get abroad uh, is so much better than the ones you get here in India. I've tried so many brands here in India, but uh, I don't know why is it not as good as the what like they really take off their dead skin cells and you know I've never noticed that with the face razors here in India they have to be really sharp so that you don't irritate your skin you know and also I got found the tiniest little flaws so I always need a little floss in my handbag and uh, while checking out I saw this tiny 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 like usually floss would come this much I saw it and I'm like oh my god I'm just gonna get it because it's so tiny I'm that person who would buy things because they are tiny <laughs> this is all this is all that I bought from uh, London beauty wise this time all of the other stuff went on cheese scones I bought some socks it's all food cookies and some soup <laughs> I went to Waitrose and I bought a bunch of food that's where all of my money went on this time such a lovely trip guys I stopped vlogging by the way travel vlogs because uh, I don't get views on it just being outright honest I feel like I was one of the very first youtubers here you know uh, to do vlogging uh, but I don't know maybe because I was not consistent with it I don't know what the reason is I, I used to put a lot of effort into my travel vlogs in fact I enjoyed making my travel vlogs more than my beauty vlogs but they just don't get the views and I was demotivated and I don't want to put, put in that much effort you know like even vlogging um, it takes up a lot of like it takes you away from the moment you know you're not able to be in the moment when you're constantly picking up your camera and recording so I was like hey you know who is gaining out of this <laughs> I'm not gaining my viewers are not gaining so why am I wasting my time vlogging so that is why I stopped travel vlogging uh, when I have my friends around I usually ask them to pick up few shots of me walking here there and also I have like outfit shots and stuff so those you will see definitely here on my Instagram sorry here on YouTube and over on my Instagram but uh, yeah this is a lot of people have uh, told me that they miss my travel vlogs and I also saw that on Sarah's Singapore vlogs you know that they miss my travel vlogs and this is the reason why I stopped vlogging like just because no one is watching and it is a lot of effort you know so that's it guys here is free bird jovi 2024 oh my god i can feel such amazing things come through my life come into my life this year just because that one bad thing is out of my life <laughs> you know so i hope you guys are doing well as well please wish my hair health you know um, all the best you know include my hair in your daily prayers thank you very much <laughs> I shall see you in my next one. I love you so much. Mwah. <laughs>